and welcome to Integral Physics. Today I want to take a look at one of the most common problems in introductory fluid mechanics. And that's the situation where we have some sort of an open top reservoir filled with a fluid. And typically this is presented as uh, water in a bucket or as some sort of a water tower. And at the bottom of that reservoir there's a discharge hole through which the fluid can drain. Now there's a couple of different variations on this problem. In this video, we're gonna solve for the velocity of this fluid as it exits the discharge hole. Then in the next video, what I wanna do is take a look at the time it takes to drain the entire reservoir. So to solve for the fluid velocity here at the drain, we're gonna to turn to Bernoulli's principle. And we're going to apply Bernoulli's principle to two points in the fluid. The first being at the surface of the fluid in the reservoir. The second being here at the drain hole. So starting at the surface of the fluid in the reservoir, as long as the reservoir is large compared to the size of the hole in the container, even if fluid is just pouring out of this hole, the fluid at the surface is gonna have no appreciable velocity, which means it has zero kinetic energy. Now I know going back to Bernoulli's law, some of you are gonna point out that strictly speaking, this term is actually kinetic energy per unit volume, and you're absolutely right. But if I have to say kinetic energy per unit volume over and over in this video, I'm gonna lose my mind. So we're just gonna to refer to this as kinetic energy, even though technically it's not. So this term is zero. So moving on through Bernoulli's, fluid at the surface has some gravitational potential and that's gonna be given by this term rho gh, where h is the height of the fluid above some reference height, which we're gonna say is down here at the same height as the discharge hole. And last, there's the pressure term. So the surface of this reservoir is open to the atmosphere. Think of it like water behind a dam or a bucket without a lid or a water tank with a vent in the top, which means there's atmospheric pressure against the fluid here at the surface. So this term is gonna be the atmospheric pressure. Now the pressure here is not zero. However, we don't really care what that pressure is because unless we have a container which is miles tall, the atmospheric pressure at the surface of the fluid in the reservoir is gonna be the same as the atmospheric pressure against the fluid at the discharge over here, which means these two terms will cancel out. Now moving on to the discharge, there's a kinetic energy term because the fluid is moving as it exits the discharge. However, there is no potential because remember, we said this drain hole is at an effective height of zero. So we're just left with these two terms. And in solving for the velocity at the discharge, we find the velocity at the discharge is equal to the square root of 2gh. Now there's a few big points I wanna make about this result. The first being that the result is the same result we would get if we were to simply drop the fluid from the surface of the fluid here downward this height h in free fall. And the importance of that can't be oversold. See, all that's really happening here is just the conversion of potential to kinetic energy. And the next thing I wanna point out is that since we're ultimately dealing with the conservation of energy, this velocity has no direction. The fluid will come out of the discharge at the same speed regardless of whether the discharge pipe is pointed up, down, or anywhere in between. And the last key point about this result that needs to be brought up is that this result is only valid for a frictionless system. If we put some drag in this pipe or add some viscosity to this fluid, then the discharge velocity will be less than that which we came up with here. Now, in addition to solving for discharge velocity, there's another common problem associated with this situation, and that is the total time for this tank to drain. So stick around and we'll work that one out in part two of this video. I hope to see you then. 